Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to Bon Bon B's Guide to Perfect Cold Sex. I'm Bon Bon B. How you doing? Right, when you build a cold sack, do they look like this? Yep, me too for the longest time. For the longest time. Just a straight road that kind of ends where it looks like it should really continue going. Uh, now, I have built a roundabout on the end before in the past, me, but it looks even more ridiculous if you do that. Would it be nice if you could drive up this road and find the perfect cul-de-sac? Oh, what do you know? There's two of them. Look. Look at this. Right side by side with the bulbous end. Yes, it is possible to do this in city skylines. And if you wanted to know how to do it, you're watching the right video. Oh, what a good day it's going to be. Now, you want to head to the workshop and get hold of Move It and Find It and Ronix's um, probable asphalt. That's the word I'm looking for. Right, let's crack on and do some building, shall we? First of all, open up the road tool. Cul-de-sacs tend to be quite narrow, so we're gonna pick this two-way alley, nice and thin, okay? And we're not gonna build it too long, maybe a couple of units long like that, okay? Simple. You following so far? Yeah, good. Right, now we're gonna go uh, back into the road tool and medium roads are a bit wide, you could use that, but we're gonna go for one of these, um, the four lane road, small four lane road, got it? And just draw it a little bit out, it doesn't have to be too long, that's far enough, that's perfect. Now, move it mod, click on the move it, down the bottom right hand corner there, happy. And then select the nodes right at the very end, click that and then just drag it back. And drag it back and drag it back until you get a bulbous end like this, see that? Quite simple. Now, it's got a crosswalk across the middle, which looks a bit ridiculous, if I'm honest with you. So we're going to get rid of that. Now, how we're going to do that is with ploppable asphalt. Now, I'm using the Find It mod. I'm going to just going to type in asphalt. There we are. I'm going to pick the round one because we've got some round edges. Oh, I forgot to switch on a prop and tree anarchy. You want that as well. Prop and tree anarchy. Switch that one on. I'm just going to cover up the line markings there and I'm just gonna like, tidy up the straight lines of the square like that you see that very simple now it doesn't quite match up and that's because one of these nodes isn't quite at the right level and it's not that one it's the one down by the lower crosswalk that's where we're looking to do that that one there and we're just going to use move it move up one node only one little button press on the page up button and it's all merged in quite nicely. Now, it's not perfect, but I'm only showing you a quick one. You can spend hours tidying this up if you really want to, but you don't want to watch that in the tutorial. Now I'm going into the decals just to, yeah, tart it up a bit, make it look a little bit like a worn cul-de-sac. Somewhere down here should be, yeah, manhole cover. I'm gonna put one of those in the middle of the bulb there, like that. Right there, I like that, okay. Now we're looking for some cracks, cracks in the pavement, in, in, in the road. No, not that way. We'll find it in a second. It's back this way, isn't it? Oh, what a dofus. I feel like a dofus now. Somewhere. Where is it? There, there they are. Right. Let's use that one. We'll pop down a couple of these. Make it look like it's uh, in need of a little bit of work. Yeah, that's good, right there. Right, and then we're gonna put a couple of cracks in the actual road as well. I say, this is completely discretionary. How, how you choose to decorate your road, you might wanna put some line markings that no parking down each side, maybe. Uh, I thought about doing that, but I, I thought, well, it's obvious there's no parking, it's too narrow. And I'm gonna pop one of these right bang in the middle of the road because why not? there okay now it's up to you how you zone this you can zone it and let it all spawn in or you could uh, plop the grower balls or anything like that I as I've got to move it open I'm just going to cheat uh, I'm going to deselect all the other things there just leave the buildings select all of them copy it and drop it over there 
That, my friends, is called cheating. You don't need to do that. You only came to find out how to do the cul-de-sac. Right, so that's basically it. Hopefully now your town is going to be full of nice little cul-de-sacs and I can move into a nice little semi-detached somewhere. Okay, that's it. My guide to perfect cul-de-sacs. Look how nice that is. It's a nice little neighbourhood. Yes, I could draw in some gardens, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for cul-de-sacs and that is what we've done today. Right, well thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Don't forget I've got a great series called What Map? By the way, the map that I'm doing this uh, tutorial on is my very own map. It's Merrick Stowe. Look it up on the workshop. You will love it. I promise you, you will love it. Excellent. Anyway, have a great day and thanks for watching. See you soon.